Welcome to Earth Love Global. In this video you are going to learn about feeding soil, worms, beneficial fungi and having additives such as highly activated biochar and seaweed. Welcome to Earth Love Global, your micro-remediation specialist of the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia. We service Australia wide and our headquarters is in Queensland. Welcome to our video on replenishing and restoring your ability to growing soil with biochar and growing soil with juicing materials and growing your soil with food scraps and growing your soil's health with mycorrhizal fungi. Most important aspect of growing soil is feeding your beneficial fungi population and your worms down in the subsoil. Look how lush and thick and vibrant this is. Which allows your soil to be aerated naturally. Each of these aspects is all in growing your soil's potential, allowing you to grow healthy food and in doing this, you need to focus on feeding your soils and worms. This also feeds the beneficial fungi, and this can be from organic materials added. We highly recommend. Feeding your worms regularly on a weekly basis. Here we have some scraps after doing some juicing. These are the materials after the juicing has taken place. They are pretty much dry because all the juice has been extracted. So it's the organic material left over after juicing. And we're going to add it in here into the soil, topsoil horizons. So here we go. There it is. You can add it by just sprinkling on top of the surface, which does attract bugs. It's not highly recommended. It's actually better to place in underneath the soil profile. So in here we've got a little hole we're gonna dig and then bury it. Bury all the food scraps. That stops bugs and issues with bugs in and around your plants. Another one is adding in your organic matter in and around your plants. So here we go, here's another little area. We'll cover all this up. So this can all be added in right throughout your garden bed. And as you can see, it's super dry, so it's easy to sprinkle through here and then coat with a mulch of some sort. You can also use the leaves as mulch because we're growing so much abundance here through feeding the soil profile. We're not gonna have an issue with getting plenty for us to eat and plenty to add back into the soil. This is where a lot of people go wrong with growing plants. They don't grow enough biomass to feed the soil, feed the worms and feed the fungi. We're gonna go across to here we're going to grab some biochar. So this is highly activated biochar right here. And how does this work? Okay, this biochar has been activated through soil. You can add the biochar to your nutrient dense material and you add the biochar to the soil profile burying it with your organic matter what does this do this allows the microbes to live in the biochar eliminating all toxins and all issues within your soil subsoil 
active location. See, look at this. That will come super active. Even though it's already activated by soil, this is going to activate it on a whole nother level. So we're going to put that in and that's going to soak up all the nutrients from those food scraps and we'll get more growth very vigorously and easily. That is bioavailable for your worms. This will eliminate issues with smelliness and issues with soil acidity as the biochar remediates that. That is going to be bioavailable for your worms to digest. In this instance, in this video, we have beneficial fungi that has been incorporated on these plants when planted, including seeds that was planted and now they're sprouting. We also have beneficial fungi, beneficial organic material, beneficial biochar and worms. Feeding your worms are a vital aspect of soil health. You need 300 worms a square metre and this area here is two square meters. We have actually put a thousand worms in this two square meters, which is double of what we really needed. But look at the significant growth of our plants. As you can see, because we feed these worms regularly on a weekly basis, they're providing worm castings, which is providing nutrients for our plants to grow. We're going to feed our worms by using this organic material. Feeding your worms is vital in soil health. Soil fertility is derived from feeding organic material in your soil horizons. Soil horizons are made up of different layers of soil. This can be from bedrock topsoil and then humus being the top layer of soil. And all these different horizons need to be fed from the top down. And this is from organic material that is placed on top of the soil. You can also do this by adding food scraps into your soil profile. And the perfect way is after you've finished using all the material that you cannot use after juicing, which are vitally good for soil health because all the excess moisture has been removed. It doesn't go off or become smelly because the excess moisture has been removed from juicing. This is great for worm health, for fungi health, and so much more, including soil health. And the nutrients from this organic material that we placed in after we've done our juicing into the soil is going to substantially increase your soil health and fertility. This is broken down by beneficial fungi, beneficial worms and the plants. We have also added biochar, highly activated charcoal into this soil, which is highly effective in soil health, allowing the ability for significant growth and creating soil fertility. As you can see, this small area, we're providing so much food. And this is all done by creating soil fertility naturally. So nutrition comes from adding highly activated bioavailable nutrients. This can be achieved through adding ELG seaweed, Earth Love Global seaweed. Adding also other additives from the earth. Also adding other additives from Earth Love Global products range, you can contact Earth Love Global for more information on these soil amendments. If you're in Queensland or Australia, we have service people to travel Australia-wide helping farmers, landowners, soil growers, plant growers in all industries growing in soil. Feel free to contact Earth Love Global today to get your free PDF information spreadsheet on all different types of industries growing out of soil. 
We also offer products and services to help you significantly increase your knowledge about soil health and fertility. Contact Earth Love Global today. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel or give us a thumbs up. You can even follow at Earth Love Global on Instagram and Facebook. Look at how healthy these plants are. They are vibrantly, nutritionally dense. And this is only possible through adding additives into your soil and growing them naturally. It's okay to use additives such as your plants. Say you find a plant leaf and it doesn't look healthy. Okay, here's one here. Why is that not healthy? Well, we probably used a compost tea, which is in other videos on Earth Love Global YouTube channel. This compost tea would have been added and it might have burnt this leaf in the beginning. It's now about 200 centimetres high. So basically you break that off and what that's going to do for this soil is significantly increase the nutritional value of the soil. So here it is, we've broken it off. There's a couple here which obviously got hit when we put the compost tea in, but we can use it as a ground cover. So now we're covering it and getting ground cover in to this location. Also, to cover all the other ground, we've added a whole heap of seeds. This is broccoli, uh, kale. We've got all sorts of different alfalfa sprouts. In, in under here, there's alfalfa sprouts. Let's see that little vibrant area in there. It's just a food forest, and this is what you want to be creating in your garden. If you're struggling to grow, grow your soil. Grow your soil and you won't struggle to grow anything. Thank you again from the Earth Love Global team. If you want help on your land in increasing your soil fertility naturally, contact Earth Love Global.